What you're looking at is Lesson 1, Google Sheets, Art Museum Field Trip. Now, you've either clicked on this button to hear my voice and or picked up the video located on the webpage. Now, first of all, we have listed everything that's going to happen and what you can do listed right here. At the bottom of the page, we have a spreadsheet showing you how it all should fit together at the very end. Now, you're go obviously, you're going to open up Google Drive and click on the, the waffle, the little square at the top, to find the icon for Sheets. Place the words Lesson 1 Art Museum and your name in the heading so you know exactly what this is and where it is. Then place the cursor between the columns and move the row over when needing more spaces. What we mean by that simply is this. Let me scroll down. You'll notice that we have Art Museum Field Trip. Now you're going to have to move this column over by putting your cursor right here. Slide it over so you get the whole thing in. And then when you hit the Command Return, it goes to the line directly below and you type in Checklist. Now you'll notice we have all the names that fit because this column or this heading here is rather large. So the names aren't that, that large. But in reality, in the future, <laughs> you might have a name that's huge. So you'd have to move this over again. Now you notice we placed in column B2, attending, C2, not attending, and in D2, permission slip returned. And we place an X. This will allow you or the teacher or whomever is do, you know, doing this, obviously, will be able to keep track of who's going to attend the field trip and whether or not they turn the forms in or permission slip in. Okay, now looking back up here, everything is pretty straightforward and there's really no trick to what's going to happen. What we want you to do is type everything in and then we want you to highlight the whole spreadsheet and you are going to hit the um, or click on the icon. You can't see it right here, but the icon that has the borders and make it darker. Now you're going to click on this area here and use the pail that's illustrated right here and make it yellow. Okay. And then once everything is done, what we want you to do is place a cursor right here. If you're using the Mac with a pad, click it click the pad with two fingers and you'll have a pull down menu and we want you to insert a uh, row above and then when you insert the row above you're going to type in fab penny so it's penny fab you'll type an x for attending and an x for permission slip and realistically that's about all now depending upon your school whether or not you're able to print these out or not if you when you're done just simply show your teacher your work so you can get credit for it. All right, now we're going to create a video right now and show you exactly how all this works. Okay, here we've already logged into Google. Here's the little waffle, your Google Apps. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to choose Sheets. If you can't find it, just simply go to your drive and you'll see it when you click on uh, More. I'm going to click on Sheets, and what happens is you are going to choose the blank one. Now, in choosing the blank one, you'll notice that what we have here are rows and columns. Now, this is column A, B, C, D, and so forth. And this is row 1, 2, and 3. Now, this cell is called A1. So, consequently, this cell would be B1, and C1, and D1, so forth and so on. Down here, this cell would be called A12. Hopefully that makes sense. And then let's say you're over here on this one. This would be D17. Okay? So, in cell A1, we are going to type some information. But before we type that in, make sure under headings you type in Lesson 1, Art Museum, and your name. Then go down to cell A1. I'm going to pause the video for a second. Okay, you'll notice we typed in Art Museum Field Trip. You'll, need, you'll notice that here's cell A1, but it ran over to cell 
B1. So simply place your cursor right here and adjust the cell so it fits that. Now with the cursor inside, I'm going to hit my command key and it goes down to the next line. Command and return. And now I'm going to type in checklist. Let me pause. Okay, now in cell A2, you would type in the word students. Let me just do one for you. And then hit your tab key. And then over here, you're going to type in attending. And keep on going and not attending. And you notice it ran over just a little bit. So same basic idea. Take your cursor up here and adjust your cell so it's a little bit larger. And then you'll have to do the same thing for the last one. Now I hit permission and I'm going to hit my command return. And in doing that it goes down to the next line and slip returned. Okay. And you see even that one ran over. So I'll make that a little bit larger. Okay. Now you're going to type in all your names and you'll place an X corresponding to all those. I won't do that for you because I'm pretty sure you can do that yourself. Okay, this is what we'd like for you to do. Place your cursor here. Highlight your spreadsheet. And go over here to where you have the borders. Click on that and let's make them darker. Okay? Next, we will, since it's highlighted, change your aerial, change your font from 9 to 12. And when you do that, you may have to obviously adjust these to encompass all that. And we want you to take this cell, which is D2, and click on the pale, right, the fill color, and we want you to make that yellow. Okay, so theoretically that's about all you have except for one interesting problem. If you look carefully, what we ask you to do right here, where you see it says Fink Carol, click on that. Click on this and then double tap your your um, your your pad and what happens is a menu will appear and we like to have you insert a row. And when you insert a row, we want you to type in, I'll pause this while we you'll type in Fab Penny, and then we ask you to place an X here because she's attending and the permission slip was returned. Okay. So that is it. Now, if you have a computer that's connected to a printer, you can print this out by using this icon right here. If you don't have one and your printers are not connected, just simply show this to your instructor. And that should be it. Now, this is a very, very simple lesson, but it's a basic one. And all the things that you need to know how to do. Well, we'd like to thank you for watching our video. That's all, folks.